Hi, I'm Dr. Beatriz Molina and today I wanted to show you how to use Hyalase. If you had a problem with a hyaluronic acid filler, like a lamp or a superficial placement of this product, I suggest you use hyaluronidase 1500 units diluted in 10 ml of sodium chloride. Let's have a look. So you are going to require a cleansing uh, product, either maybe Natrasan, a skin, or Clinicept. Either of them are very good to clean the skin with your gauzes. Then, this is our Hyalase. So Hyaluronidase, 1500 units. You can purchase that from the pharmacy on prescription. The vials come like this. It will be five vials usually, 10 vials in a pack. And you can see it's a glass, a small vial with your expiry day and, in, and everything as you will require it to put on your medical records. Then we're going to require bacteriostatic sodium chloride, again on prescription. A 10 ml syringe and a large needle because we need to extract the sodium chloride into it, so it's going to be 10 ml solution. A very, very, very fine needle, this is a 33G invisible needle for later injecting the hyalase into the small lump with maybe a 1 mil um, or 2 mil, unless you'd rather chain the needle from here and use a red sleeveless needle, you can also do so, but with a smaller needle on the skin. First of all, as I said, we've got our um, syringe with a needle, 10 mils, and we're going to get 10 mils. Just slowly. We are talking here for complications only when it's superficial placement of the product. For Tyndall effect or small lumps and bumps when you want to have a full control. Because what happened is when we got the 10 mil um, solution, every one mil is going to give me 150 units. So once we've done that, I'm going to get my small vial. Then we can open it, they've got a little mark there. You got your vial. And then now we can add a small amount of this into the syringe. We're going to take it in and out a couple of times because we want to mix it properly within the 10 mils. So that will be the full amount. And then as I say, you can either use this one or you could use, if you prefer to transfer it into one of the other ones, one of the little connectors and transfer it into a small one. But usually you are in a rush, you don't want to run. So the best thing is to go directly onto this one. Then prime your needle and you are ready for injections.